We have a series of events going on this month. Here on the 31st, we have really three different things applied to this. You could call this a super blue blood moon type of event. The super moon is when the moon is very close to the earth at its closest point and it appears massive in the sky, usually right around when the moon is starting to rise or set. It's at its biggest in the sky. It can look super massive. Now, the term blue moon means that, well, every two and a half years, it seems like one month will have two full moons. The second full moon is dubbed the blue moon. Now, when we have a lunar eclipse, a full lunar eclipse, this can be dubbed a blood moon. Now, what we're having is pretty much all of these. We're going to have the moon in a supermoon type of state. It's going to be dubbed a blue moon because it will be the second full moon of the month. As you can see here, it will be the second. And it will be dubbed a blood moon as well because there's going to be an eclipse on this day. This is very interesting. You're going to have all three happening with the moon on this day. So there's more information here on the event. But you can see here St. George and parts of southern Utah will be able to see this if weather permits. They're saying this eclipse will end at 7.42 a.m., having a duration of 3 hours and 51 minutes. So, sky watchers on the west coast, you're going to have the best chance. It's not going to be a full eclipse on the east coast, but you'll still be able to see the effects in the moon and the shadow and everything else. But that's some updated information. I will leave a link below, and also make sure to tune in to Underground World News Live Friday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern, Dabu 77. Eyes to the skies.